All right, everybody. Ridiculous NFL predictions 2011. EJ here to go ahead and offer up some completely absurd, unresearched, non statistical based opinions about the upcoming mm. NFL season. Um, coming up on my first NFL fantasy draft. Uh, so that got me thinking, what do I really think is going to happen in this NFL season? And I'm going to go ahead and make some completely outlandish statements that will hopefully uh, just be uh, absolutely right by random statistical, uh, well, nothingness, really. Uh, just entirely just guessing. I'm going to go with the NFC East. Uh, I'm going to go ahead with this video, just focus on the NFC mm. East. That's your Dallas Cowboys, Philadelphia Eagles, New York Giants, and Washington Redskins. Uh, my absolute ridiculous prediction here. Not really a shocker, a no-brainer, the easy pick. The Philadelphia Eagles are going to run away with this division, I think. Uh, a lot of people are, of course, hyping the NFC East before the season gets started. Of course, the, the four-letter ESPN absolutely loves the NFC East. Big surprise there. There are actually a couple of people there. Sal Palantonio is one of the people I heard suggesting that three teams from this division alone could make the uh, playoffs this year. I think that's absolute rubbish. Uh, I think the Washington Redskins are going to be one of the worst teams in the league. Uh, whatever his name is, that quarterback is an uh, absolute um, fool. And uh, the coaching staff is an absolute mess. They have very little talent. Most of the talent they do have gets banged up. Uh, the New York Giants, I think, have always been overrated. That People are saying Eli Manning has something to prove. I'm pretty sure he already proved that when he won a Super Bowl. I don't really think he has a whole lot else to prove. And I don't think he's really going to be uh, exceeding anybody's expectations this season. Uh, I don't really see the Giants being much of a threat down the stretch. I see the Giants as more of a 6-10 six to 8-8 six and, ten to eight and eight team at best. The Dallas Cowboys, I actually do think they're going to do a little bit better than last year, but that's not saying a whole lot. Uh, I do like their coach, Jason Garrett. He's going to be an excellent addition to the Cowboys' odds this year. Um, they have, in my opinion, they have a shot at actually making the playoffs, um, but I don't think they're going to. And then the Philadelphia Eagles, they pretty much stack the deck. Their defense is going to have some sus suspect uh, issues going into the season because they've had very little time to work together. They've got um, a rookie at linebacker calling plays. Uh, it's going to be kind of an issue for the, for the Philadelphia Eagles on the defensive side of the ball. I'm also concerned about Michael Vick. Uh, you know, he, he didn't exactly beat a whole bunch of uh, top-notch teams last season um, during the stretch run of the, the Eagles' run towards the playoffs last year. Um, I do think he's going to mature even further as a player. Um, he's going to have plenty of offensive weapons. Uh, to utilize, there could be some questions there, but I think in the end, the Eagles win this game by this division by at least two games. So my call, Philadelphia Eagles will take the NFC East in 2011.